Hello and welcome everyone to the next tutorial on Psy for Unity. This time we'll add interactive music to an existing Unity project and for this I have loaded the Angry Bots example that comes with Unity and I've already installed the Psy Unity package from our SDK. Installing that package will add this folder called Psy to your project and in there you'll find a scene called Psy Player. This is the playground for testing your Psy soundtracks, so first we'll switch to that scene. And as you can see, there's basically just one object called Psy, which holds three components that will interact with the Psy engine. The first one is responsible for loading a soundtrack, and this is also actually the only one you will really have to touch. It exposes a single variable where we need to enter the relative path to the soundtrack configuration file that is created by the Psy editor during export. In this example, we will load the data file named soundtrack from the subfolder Psy demo soundtrack. And the path is always relative to the resources directory of your project where all the Psy soundtracks need to be located. When our soundtrack was loaded successfully and we press play, then this GUI will appear where you can play around with the Psy API. I already showed this in an earlier video, so for now, let's just have a look at all the themes that are loaded. In the theme list below you see that each theme has a unique theme ID that will be needed later to trigger this theme from within our game logic. In our example we will be using the Canyon theme as the background music, that's ID 2. And for action sequences we will be using the Danger theme with ID 3. So now let's switch to the scene we are about to change, it's the one called 3-4 Pain. The first thing I need to do is to drag and drop the Psy prefab that's also used by the Psy player scene into our game scene and I make sure that the path to the soundtrack is set correctly. Now Psy is ready to play and we can start adding music to our scene. We do this by using one of the scripts in the trigger folder that comes with the Psy Unity package. As a first step, let's add our basic mood theme as the background music when the player just walks around in the scene and nothing special is happening. To achieve this, we will use this script called Psy Trigger on Scene Start and we will attach it to an arbitrary game object in our scene. In this example, I choose the one that the original example uses to play back its music as we want to replace that anyway. When you take a look at the inspector, you see that the trigger script we are using is really simple and you can easily adapt them or add your own as needed. The only variables that we need to enter in this case are the theme ID of our basic mood and the initial musical intensity we want the theme to be played back with when the scene starts. And when we're done, we can already hit the play button and check how it sounds so far. As you can see, we didn't deactivate the Psy Player component, which allows us to test our music while playing our game. But at the moment, this is rather annoying, so I will switch off all the controls we don't need. And I just keep the intensity display at the top left. Like I explained in an earlier video, we can see that the intensity level is gradually decreasing over time, as long as there are no trigger scripts firing. This approach along with the predefined theme types makes it possible that we never have to worry about switching themes on or off. Instead we can just place triggers in our scene in a fire and forget manner and as long as we assign the correct theme types to each theme everything should work right out of the box. Themes of type basic mood only need to be triggered once and will then in turns play for some time and then keep silent for some time. So by placing the single trigger call at the beginning, we are basically done with the ambient background music for the scenery and we can move on to special events like dynamic action sequences. As an example for an action sequence, let's say that this painting down the hallway here is the source of all evil and we want to instantly switch to dramatic music as soon as the player steps within a certain range. We also want the music to get more and more intense as the player gets closer. The trigger script I will be using for this is this one called Psy Trigger when in range and I will attach it to the collider object that was originally used to end the level. As you can see this time there's quite a few options but for this example we can keep most of the default values. First I need to set the theme ID again, this time to the ID 3 of our danger theme. 
And the script will fire continuously every 250 milliseconds while the player is in range, uh, scaling the musical intensity from 10% to the maximum of 100% when the player has finally reached the painting. I can also override the time span that the music will take to calm down when the player has stepped out of range. Let's set it to 7 seconds. And finally I set the trigger radius of my script to value so that the action music will start playing when the player has stepped past that cavity here. And we're done. The remainder of this video will just be me running around in the scene so that you can check out how our script sounds. So I say goodbye for now and I thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.